Hello everyone, my name is Amarachi. I am currently an international postgraduate student at the University of Dundee and in this channel I will be providing international students with all the information that they need to go through their academic journey in the UK successfully. How academic misconducts are handled. Like I said in the beginning, when students are um, presumed to have committed any form of academic misconduct. The first thing that the school would do will be to alert the students. So they don't like say, oh, you've been caught in academic misconduct and bam, they dish punishments. Oh, we are going to withdraw your visa sponsorship. We are going to, you are going to fail the course and all of that. They do not do it. They are kind in that they are humans as well. So they don't do that. When people are caught, you are let know that we think or we have seen this very thing with, with your work. So we are inviting you for a panel hearing with the academic misconduct panel. The people that are usually in this panel, but I think it changes with different universities, could, would include um, the, a presenter or presiding officer and the program lead and you know someone from the a staff from the university and um, student support then the student it could be more than five people sometimes just depending on the university and depending on you know just the people that they will tell you i think they would also tell you the people that will be in your panel and they will tell you if you need to bring in anyone feel free because it's not a panel hearing to crucify you no it's a panel hearing to um determine if you also if you know what academic misconduct is especially if you're an international student and also an opportunity or a room for you to express yourself explain yourself what happened was there any mitigating circumstance that contributed to your falling into this mitigating circumstance is any situation that is beyond your control that might have affected your academic so say um because of an accident you couldn't meet up with deadline and so you had to rush in the process of rushing you did not really do your referencing as well as you should do you understand so they are also willing to hear of your mitigating circumstances circumstances like what i have just explained so it's an opportunity for you to um get away from however grievous the offense would have been or your penalty would have been so relax and you know whenever you if you receive the email as an international student i know it's normal to panic but do not let that um prolong do not be too anxious even if you're going to get anxious the first thing you need to do is to contact your academic advisor some universities say advisor of studies or supervisor so contact whoever it is to you and explain the situation so this person could be a source of support but another thing i would really advise you to do is to go to your student union and contact the advice and support team because they work as an independent organization they are separate from the university and they work specifically and specially for all students, including international students. So if you have been called up for any form of academic misconduct and you are scared, you're worried, the first thing you need to do is to go to your student's union or send them an email and let them know what it is and you know what the situation, the module, if you already know, just explain the situation for, to them and they will ask you any question that they need to know about it as well in order to provide you with um, the best kind of support for you in that situation now when you have you know contacted any form of support especially like I, I, I advised with your students union one of the things that um, they would 
usually do is ask you um, if you know the module if you've got the documents so that they can look over and help you actually they are supporting you they are not doing the work for you they will support you look over the documents and see what the problem is if you do not already have the documents depending on the university you can ask if they can send you the, the documents so that you can prepare yourself ahead of your panel hearing. If they send you the document, it's fine. If they do not send you the document, it's still fine. All you need to do is to narrate all of the modules you have written so far to your support officer and tell them how you had gone through your writing and if you can remember if there's anything fishy with your writing you can also explain this to them they are there to support you and not to judge you okay so um but if you um luckily got the document that's also fine they were together with you will help you support you in looking through the documents and you people can discover together what actually is wrong then you will need to um think if there was any circumstance at the time example mitigating circumstance this is not actually like step by step but it's something that um, could be done in handling academic misconduct they also need to find out or you need to find out if there was any mitigating circumstance that contributed or could have contributed to your um committing academic misconduct and if such circumstances are found then you will be helped to prepare yourself for your panel hearing to know how to um leverage on the fact that there was this issue that contributed to this in lowering the how how bad the offense would have looked if you get what i mean or just talk about the situation at the time and use it in defense during your panel hearing like i said the panel hearing is not a call to crucify you but just an opportunity to hear you and to also determine if you understand academic misconduct especially as an international student when this is done together they will make a meeting if a meeting has not already been booked for the panel hearing but if it has been booked all you need to do is to send them the invitation or to let them know what date what venue what time the panel hearing will be happening they mean either your academic supervisor or the student support at the student's union okay so you tell them what the date for the panel hearing is and they will go with you and they will be there to support you so may even when they notice that you are being tensed in terms of speaking they may speak for you because you have already initially explained the whole situation to them and told them everything that went wrong and they have also seen from your work or from your modules seen or heard from you so yes if the student gets tense they will be there to also speak on the student's behalf so like i said and have been repeating academic misconduct issue is is frowned out seriously in uk universities but it is not a death sentence try as much as possible to avoid every form of academic misconduct issue when you get into your school as an international student ask of academic writing group or academic writing services and make use of the knowledge and resources that is there for you the academic writing services will um, let you know what academic misconduct in uk universities is and also tell you some of these examples so that while doing all your academic works in school you know exactly what to avoid because we are coming from a very different background and um, education and the institution of academia back in our home country is very different from what it is in the uk university and you do not want to get into a situation where you're having to repeat a coursework or you're having to fail a course no matter how light or shallow the penalty of this thing is i found out that it has a trickle down effect on international students visa 
So you do not want to fall into that because if you are having to repeat a course, it means um, you are needing more time. Do you understand? And you need to do that as quick as possible. Another thing you need to know about academic misconduct is that once you know you are presumed or assumed to be seen or caught in academic misconduct they are not going to quickly call home office because that's one of the fears of international students they are not going to call home office and say to them oh this student has been caught in this no like i said even with the withdrawal of visa sponsorship it is on very grievous and repeated situations like even after numerous corrections and disciplinary measures has been taken on the student, the student continues and repeats this over and over again. That is when it gets that bad with penalty. But at first offense, you they just want to correct you and they just want to make sure you know what this is and you do not go back to it because they also want you to have a worthy degree and a worthy certificate okay so if you have any questions concerning academic misconduct and how to handle it um, maybe depending with regards to your own university and you are comfortable asking that in the comment section please do feel free put down your questions and I will be there to answer them and thank you so much for watching this video until the end Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and put on your notification button for more. Whether you are a current international student in the UK or a prospective international student to UK University, please put on your notification because you'll be getting loads that will help you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in other videos and until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.